Hello, hello to all the amazing people, the Neomer here and welcome to some more Dice Stripes Ambitions. This is the second part of our Forest Dwellers run on normal difficulty. This is my second run, I already did one run on the demo and uh, we got a full game now, so we're gonna be trying out different stuff. <laughs> These forest dwellers are not available in the demo, so I wanted to showcase it a little bit before we do other stuff. So yeah, this is the second part. If you have no idea what's going on and how this game is played, maybe you want to check out the playlist in the comments or the description and watch the first episode I did. If you know what's up or you just want to see what's happening, then welcome, welcome, sit back, relax and enjoy. I'm going to play this wonderful game some more. We are on turn seven. I'm aggressively... Uh, giving birth to people which put me in a situation where we are running out of food but uh, that was the plan that was the plan I really wanted to like um, I really wanted to get my my uh, people booming so uh, we can use these people to get a whole bunch of food and yeah now that's now that we're running out of food now is the time to do it <coughs> Let me just double check if we are recording. Wonderful, everything seems fine. So yeah, let's play turn seven. Uh, so we got a couple of plans for food. Uh, we have these traps here. So 50% chance for animals to be trapped. We paid two, uh, one food each up front, and now we're waiting for them to work. This is like very, uh, very, uh, very cheap food long term, but it takes a while to kick off. So we're gonna be doing this whenever we can. Other than that, we have like a lot of wood and we can use that in the mushroom farm. So this is our way out of the food problem. I'm gonna use one four here. Okay, my builder is a five, which is weird. Um, we also need one four here to extinguish the fire. We can do it next turn. Dogs, okay, this is a new thing we found. So we explored the, we explored the Taiga with explorers and we found some wild dogs. Let's see what the dogs are. Dog can only perform actions in locations, cannot be trained, cannot be placed in slots that require reroll. Oh really? Are you kidding me right now? How many, how many times can I use this? This is amazing. Dog kennel. Dog training. Any. Enables the construction of kennel. Breed. Increase the number of dogs available by one. What happened with... I, I guess wild dogs... How does that work? Okay, let's see what happens with the wild dogs if you use them. This seems OP, by the way. We just got two dogs here and we can send them right away to collect some science for us and food and whatever we need really. So for example, we can go and forage this food here just to get rid of this tile, I guess that would be smart. And then we can place another dog like there to collect some science. Uh, maybe we should have placed both to collect science, doesn't really matter. Okay, so these dogs, very useful. Okay, we can research dog training. Okay, we're gonna research the kennel for sure. So I wonder if these wild dogs come back here and we can use them next turn or what? If yes, this is really good. If no, that's fine. We're gonna make our own dogs. I think that's gonna be the case. Um, should have collected that. Let's do that right away. So we just get rid of this style here next round. So we can place down some more. Um, Okay, we need a mushroom farm for the food, so I'm gonna build it. Should we build it at this four? We could reroll the builder and probably get what we need. So let's try that first. Fours are in high demand right now, so we got a four, good. Um, so we're gonna build a mushroom farm here. What's my explorer? Explorer is a six. Okay, I have some interesting plans here. <coughs> Sorry about that, I'm coughing a little bit still. Uh, Let's do mushroom farm. Yeah, mushroom farm is good. So in the end, we didn't go for the altar. If we didn't get any ones, we would probably go for it though. Okay, mushroom farm. Okay. When both slots are placed, collect food equal to the combined dice value. The dice must be the same for both slots. So we pay three wood and two dice and get the combined value of the dice in food. And that seems pretty good to me. Really, really good. Amazing. 
Okay, um, we can get a two here if we need it. Now we have some interesting things we can make here. We can do opportunist. Every turn, two opportunists will spawn instead of one. Opportunities are these kind of blue stuff. Pretty good. Or we can go for a master explorer. When exploring with explorer, an additional location will spawn. Hmm. Problem with that is that when we explore with explore, we get this unique locations that we need to explore further, which is a bit problematic because it's super slow. So I'm not sure if that's so good. Maybe instead of that, we want to go for hunting. Wait, what? After placing a die, the dice will be rolled immediately. When the highest face value on the dice is rolled, the hunt is success and you gain two food. Can we hunt with the dog? Dogs can only perform actions in locations. No, I don't think you can hunt with the dog, which seems weird, but would be very powerful. <laughs> yeah, d dogs can only do these actions down here. It will be powerful because dog will always roll a maximum value because it always rolls a two. Yeah, it's a, <laughs> it's a bit weird, but yeah. So can't be trained, can't be placed in slots that require reroll. Okay. <laughs> Still a funny idea, right? Ah, yeah, I don't know. Like they they were put into a weird look, weird situation here with the with the with the hunt thing, but uh, I'm pretty sure you can't use the dog to hunt. Dog alone cannot hunt. Like, what would that even mean? They would have to go outside and hunt alone, so that wouldn't work. Okay. So do we go for the hunter hut? So this is like a little bit, you know, it's a, a highly volatile location. The payoff is really good, but very often you're not going to get anything. Uh, when the highest face value on the dice is rolled, the hunt is success and you gain 12 food. Hunter, 1, 2, 2, 4, 4, 4. So Hunter has 50% chance to succeed. Explorer also. Okay, Explorer cannot use the building. So you would need a Hunter for successful hunts. So that's one thing we can go for. We can go for knowledge here. Enables the construction of a library. Okay. Copy the value of dice onto another dice. Study. We use two science and any dice. Then we copy the value of dice onto another dice. Okay, we do it as many times as we like. That's interesting. Okay. That's kind of cool, I guess. Um... Uh, well, I definitely want to do this, right? We have the Lumberjack now, which has high chance of finding wood. So if you go for this, what do we use? I guess we use a normal villager. Uh, and then another normal villager. So we would get 12 food here from the mushroom farm. I mean, I definitely want to do that. That means we would have to like roll. Okay, this goes there. We probably can't pull it off. So we'd have to send somebody here to maximize. Not enough food for the next round. Don't worry. We we have a plan. We have a plan. Let's make a plan. <laughs> we don't have a plan yet. We're gonna make one now. Now this thing, we can go for some wood here. We'll probably need some more in the future. We're gonna use this each round. So we're gonna need three, three wood per round, right? Okay. So we can send a lumberjack here to explore the forest. We can send the this one here to find us some new nice locations. Like a water hole would maybe be good. Ancient altar is interesting. We can do an offering there. Oh, this is like similar to the our altar. Okay. 
Alright. Builder. Do we build the altar? Hmm. Construction cost. One wood plus a four. We could also extinguish the fire. So we don't have to think about that thing anymore. Okay. <clears throat> so anything can go into the dog training. So maybe we send like a five there or something. I don't know. And then something goes to max. So I'm just trying to figure out which one of these three goes to max. So let's see. Two, five or a three. What can we use these on? We can research something if we grab some more, but no, then we can. Yeah, we can research something. That way we would go, well, we're already down to four researches, so we can do whatever. Maybe we build the hunter hut, right? So in that case, we put the odd in there. And we max out one of these two, and the other one goes into the, the dog training. So I'm going to execute the plan here. Okay, that gives us the six and we can go here and get 12 food. Execute the plan, there we go. So now we're good with food, we can make that baby. Everything looks fine. Oh, we found two new locations, right. Oh, wait, what? Oh yeah, we sent the lumberjack in and the explorer. Right, so we got plenty of locations. Now, Lumberjack didn't find a lot of wood. Found a lot of food, actually. Which is bad. It's going to be hard to clear. And this is not a very efficient way to collect food. This is a really efficient way to collect food. So I wanted more wood here. Tough luck, right? But it's okay. We have a lot of stuff for turn 7 here. Um, okay, we're going to... Okay, I want to see... What happens with these two dogs? If they come back here, that's just utterly broken because we're gonna just use those to collect the food here. That's gonna be really good. Okay. So end the turn. Good. So what happens with the mushroom farm? It just resets. Oh, that's so broken. Oh. Okay, this trap has 75% chance for animals to be trapped. And now we can collect 10 food here. That's also... Okay, we are fine with food now. Oh, this this looks pretty good. 2, 4, and 5. A lot of food here. 4 or 7 or 2. Okay, 2 stones not that good though. Okay, we solved the fire. Okay, we're going to have migration soon. So we're going to be able to put 3 villagers in and get another villager. How many do we have? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11. Okay, I need to breed one more and then we can stop breeding. Okay, we need more sixes. Okay, I'm really... I guess we can put two fives in here and that's gonna be good enough. I mean, 10, 10 is still good enough to keep going, right? And we got the wild dogs back. And now we can build the kennel. Um, kennel's gonna be good. We can start training the dogs. We need to clear this so we can get new stuff inside. Yeah, I'm like... This throws 3, 4, or 5. Yeah, that's not... 2, 4, 5. Anything that throws 2, 4, or 5. I don't know. Mm. No, no, just don't. Just don't. We are really good. We just need to use our abilities here. Okay, let's see. Um, so I kind of feel like building the kennel here. Can we build with the lumberjack? We can. Lumberjack's pretty good builder as well. I can forage for four science here. Look at that. Um, kennel? With two wild dogs? Seems a bit too much. We're gonna do it. Okay, let's go with the builder, build the kennel. I think we can execute this plan actually. I mean, especially since... I don't know. Let's go for kennel first. Little bit PA here right now. <coughs> Gonna figure it out though. 
we need a lot of wood to build that. So we are not really that amazing with wood, right? So we need to keep like aggressively like finding more more wood. So it would be good if we can clear this one here. Lumberjack has a greater chance to find more wood, so it would be good if we can do something else here. Um, do we like need force for anything? No, I don't think so. I'm pretty sure I want to clear this. Okay. And then I probably want to clear this as well. Grab three wood here and food. Yeah, sure. They are going to send the dog here to clear the other one. Send the dog here to grab some science. Wild dogs, wild dogs. Let's go. I probably want to explore with the explorer here. This for science is juicy though. We sent the person there already. But yeah, we're getting closer to the point where I want to do something with this. I'm going to send a one in here. Maybe we get a six. We did get a six. So if I want to be efficient here, I can send this one and one max die here to collect food. Okay. So maybe we don't need two fives then. I mean, that's an option now already. Uh, lumberjack. Okay. We can build the kennel and start training dogs. That's also pretty good. Yeah, I want to start training dogs. We'll be able to get some good use out of these locations that way. Hmm. Turn 8, turn 8. So this is probably our last bird here, right? So we need to figure out what do we max out. Um, we can chop some trees here. With a 4. Uh, feels a bit iffy. Yeah, I think I want to build a kennel. So let's say... Send you in there. We can do any, right? So we can do something like that. Can we clear? No. Okay, we should probably do this. With 1.5 then. Sure. Okay, we can set this thing up again. I will. And then the other 5 we max and put in there. Sounds like a good plan, actually. Okay. There we go. Mushroom farm broken. <laughs> well, like a lot of things in this game is broken, but it's not very easy to get to it. Like, what did it take to like actually get to the mushroom farm? I think we maybe started with it right away, but with like getting wood is kind of not maybe so easy. So it's a good like combo, like woodcutter's hut plus the mushroom farm produces a lot of food. Okay, I think that's it. End the turn. Get a new person, we're up to 12. Now, do we get a person right away with the bird? No, I don't think so. We're just gonna migrate. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. Okay. Right, so we start with one dog. Dog can only perform actions in locations. Cannot be trained, cannot be placed in slots that require rerolls. We can breed some more dogs. But maybe with two wild dogs, we actually don't need any extra ones. I don't know. I want to collect these five food, though. Like, my sixes today are, like, horrible. <laughs> and this time we don't even have any fives. So, yeah. <laughs> Mushroom farm turns out not that good. What's the chance? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. We should roll, like, almost two sixes on average. With normal. Well. Yeah. We should. <coughs> so, maybe we slow down a little bit with food generation. It's not like we have much problems with that. What we really need is, like, more wood, right? So if you're gonna be using mushroom farm here, uh, I probably like, um, I probably wanna go with the lumberjack, explore, try to find more more wood. That sounds like a good plan, right? So we max out the lumberjack here. We can try rerolling it. It has 50-50% chance to get a six. There we go. And we go somewhere where there's lots of wood. So this one seems to have the most wood. Yep, it does. So we can use dogs in here. 
So Lumberjack goes with a whole bunch of dogs into the forest, finds the wood and then straps it onto their back. <laughs> Oh, poor dogs. That's, this must be some huge ass dogs, right? Four, four for four. I don't know. We have a lot of fours though, so let's do it. <laughs> it seems like we're going to be putting two fours in here, by the way, which is not that great. Okay, look at that. We found some more food here. Yeah, definitely getting to the point where food will not be a problem at all, right? I'm going to do more lumberjacks. Where do we train lumberjacks? Here. Because lumberjacks and dogs work really good at collecting food and all kinds of other stuff, right? I said we're not gonna breed next round, we're gonna migrate. We're gonna get random danger soon. Danger, danger. What kind of victory do we go for? Religion. Enables the construction of temple and fate. Temple. Pray to generate fate. Preach to generate fate. Okay, so we can pray or preach. <coughs> Convert a dice to a believer. The chance of conversion is 25% per fate. If the conversion is successful, all fate will be depleted. Okay, but how do we win? <laughs> Win by creating a religion and ascending to godhood. <laughs> oh, we turn ourselves into a god. <laughs> oh, this game, this game. Build a temple, have three believers, construct a statue. Hint. Fate limits the number of dice you have by converting them to believer, which are not useful in most tasks. You will need to plan around the limitation. Really? Three dice less? Yeah, how will we ever manage that? <sighs> this is not even that good. Problem with this is that you get, like, you probably get... Well, I actually don't know what we get. <laughs> okay. We need more sixes in general. I think it's very unlikely for us to produce a lot of sixes. Sixes. Okay. This is clogging up space, but we get two extra dogs each round, so which is pretty good. I want a six and I want to explore basically at this point. So I'm gonna put two fours in here. It hurts, yes, it hurts. But we need that. Um, so this wood will end up there next round. We can clean this if you have a two here. I'm not a huge fan of putting a two in here because dogs should be clearing these, but we can get four foot here as well. It's like <laughs> four foot everywhere. Um, yeah. This is also for... We can build something. Like, should we go for this hunter's hut thing? Do we really need more food? That's the question. Uh, I probably don't. <laughs> altar would probably be nice, though. Yeah, I'm gonna grab the altar now. Um, builder? <coughs> I don't think it matters. Okay, so we need a four. Okay, we need three plus any. Oh, we can grab that food. Uh, okay, any goes there, that's good. We can breed the dog with any as well. Well, food is good, we can create more dogs. I'm gonna create an army of dogs here. <laughs> um, we need more science. Where can we find science? In Taiga. So let's go for Taiga to get some more science. Okay, I'm not gonna be doing that. We're gonna do migration next round. Um, so let's do one here. Change dice face. We can try with this, I guess. A two. What do we do with a two? I don't know. Ones are pretty bad, unless for this one here, right? So let's do a one. And let's go into Taiga. Get some more science. Nice. Mm, love it. Uh, we can collect this two food here to get rid of this tile. The wood will be dragged in by the woodcutter's hat. Oh yeah, I said we want to train some woodcutters, right? Um, explorer. Oh, this explorer right now is like, I'm lost. 
I'm lost, can't do anything. I should probably collect some science then. Um, right, plan. Uh, let's see. I like, want to breed a dog. I want to build an altar. But I also want to do this thing, and now I don't have enough dice for everything. Great. Just great. Not very well planned. Okay, execute the plan. This I feel more important than this, right? Do we delay altar for one turn to get the food faster here? I'm pretty good with food, so probably not. This might be a little bit of an overkill, this trapper's hut. I didn't know how great this would be. Okay. Did we train the woodcutter? We didn't. Okay, execute the plan. End the turn. Okay. <coughs> I need more dice. That's the answer. More dice. Hmm. Merchant. Now, merchant's interesting. The list of available trades will be changed every turn. So we can trade. Well, you can see what we can trade. Uh, depending on the die you put in, you get some resources. None of this is very interesting to me. I want to do the migration. Okay, we finally have some sixes, but we now have to put one in here, which is like... Eh. But we are doing this, like, there's no way that's not happening. Okay. From next round on, we're gonna have three more people, which will be amazing. Right, so we have a whole bunch of dogs, so, like, this is like a no-brainer. This is the only thing they're good for. Okay. Uh, Lumberjack, I wanna try to get a six with it. So we got a two, which is kind of bad. Um... Uh, what can we trade for two? Six food for... Nine food for six stones. I don't know much about that. Um, explore marshlands, water hole, or the ancient altar. Um, I mean, both of these are kind of cool. It will limit my space here, but... I'm pretty, pretty sure I want to max this out so we can keep using the dogs. Uh, this is also good for it. Let's grab that while we can. I also need to figure out how to use the this thing, right? So Two fives, maybe. Yeah, sure. Not enough wood. Oh, right. Uh, whoops. I can max this, but then... Should have put a 4 in there. Yeah, this was a mistake. Um... I guess I can max out the Lumberjack. Then go somewhere where there's a lot of wood, like here. But still, I'm not going to be using dogs to pick that up, right? Yeah, that doesn't make much sense. So we just drop it here. I mean, we use most of our dogs now. We can do like more locations next round. There we go. So now we have enough wood. So now we can send these two in there. Good. And we're going to be lacking dice this turn either way. Like next round, we're going to have six more dice than this one. These three, which we use to migrate. And then three more, which we're going to get with migration. So... Um, okay, we're gonna get a random danger next turn. Okay, um, that's pretty good. I mean, this dog not doing anything right now. Oh, we can send him here to stop exploring the location. That's kind of funny. I don't want to do it, but it's an interesting choice. I want to do this, most probably. I mean, almost for sure, right? 
Okay, we got our altar, so we can make die whatever die we need, we can make it now. That's very powerful, but also, like, you need to, like, pay food to reset it, so. I kind of want to train somebody to be the woodcutter. We need more of them to find more locations for the dogs to abuse. Um, so we got 4-4 four, four and a 3 right now. Opportunist. Every turn two opportunists will spawn instead of one. That's kind of good. Because right now we're not really using science for anything smart. I mean, we could start with religion, I guess. Pray. And preach. It seems like starting early with this is good. Believer. One, 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 two, and six. <coughs> is that why it doesn't like very useful? Because it's just a whole bunch of ones. This this thing is like. Yeah, I feel like it might be smart to start working on the on the religion here. Cannot figure out uh, preach. It like has like one die which is forbidden. Oh, but we can like pray as many times as we like with wands. Oh, believers can pray. So once you get the first believer, it becomes easier. Right. Um. Okay. Yeah, let's get going with that. I think. I can. I don't think we're gonna be building the hunter's hut. I guess we are mushroom collectors this time. Yeah, this just doesn't seem like... It's very RNG. I don't like RNG. So it's like 50% each time. It's 50% that you get 12 food. So you put a dice in, 50% chance for one dice to get 12 food. So on average, this will yield 6... 6 food per dice. However, you also need to spend another dice to save it half of time. When it doesn't do anything, you need to spend another die. So it will actually... So let's say I go to a hunt, I succeed, I get 12 food, and then I go to another hunt, I fail, I get nothing, and I need to spend another dice. So I'm gonna spend 3 dice total to get 12 food. So it's actually 4 food per dice, and that's horrible. Okay, this is a bad building. <laughs> this one's better. And safe. Yes, we use the wood, but it's less RNG. Also, you can also get super unlucky and get even less than that. So, yeah. Okay, I'm happy with this decision not to build a hunter's hut. Um, right, if possible, I would like to uncover more, more locations. Um, but I don't really have that option right now. I could, like... I could try rolling a six here, I guess. There we go, that's good. Uh, more science, probably. Let's go. Okay, now we can use the dog, which is great. And I want to breed another dog. And we can, like, use it right away. Amazing. Um, right. These dogs pay themselves off and then somewhere. And I'm sorry, merchant. Your just doesn't seem very good. Like, it's good if you really, really need some resource and you don't have it. But otherwise, it's just spending one dice to get a very unfavorable trade most of the time. And dice is also a resource, so you're not using that dice somewhere else, right? Okay, next round's gonna be way stronger than this one, though. Okay, end the turn. Okay, I'm gonna play one more turn here. I'm gonna wrap this one up. But I'm happy with how things are going right now. Okay, now we have... 15 dice. That's gonna be a lot of pressure on my foot, but uh, Okay, this is already a pretty good start. We have two sixes. We're gonna drop them in there. There we go. Go Okay, I'm gonna send one dog in there. That's like really easy decision uh, We're gonna need more stuff here. I will try re-rolling this one into anything We got a four too bad. So we got two fours here for lumberjacks I kind of want them to be sixes. I mean, I can use them there. So I want lumberjacks. Migration. Another migration. I'm full. Thank you very much. Amnesia. 
Make map. What happens if you don't make one? If the danger is not clear, two random locations will be lost. Okay. So in theory, we could use we could lose wild dogs. I'm gonna do it just so I don't have to plan around it, but it's actually not that bad. Okay, let's send a dog in there. Okay, and let's send explorer in there. That's easy decision. Um knowledge. Copy the dice value into another dice. Maybe it would be good to see how that works. I'll check it out before we finish. I'm gonna research knowledge and uh gonna construct the library I'm gonna try it out just before we win because I want to see how it works for other ones so when you study right so it says copy the dice value onto another dice so it can be one of two things it can be you place the die inside it and then you can copy it many times but you lose the dice you used to copy from which would be very hard to be useful or you can place the die in In inscribe the value, get the dice back, and then copy it as many times as you like. I think it's the other scenario, but I want to confirm it, the, the, the second scenario, right? Okay, we never prefer this trap, okay. So yeah, I want a six lumber track, basically, uh, to get some more locations here. <laughs> <laughs> to get some more trees for the mushroom farm. So I'm gonna grab, uh, we can grab it here, we can grab it there. Um, I'm gonna grab it here, I guess. First, uh, we're gonna send it somewhere where there's a lot of trees here. Okay, we're gonna send our dogs to collect all of that. Well, we don't have to collect wood, technically. We need a tree here, so we're gonna send a tree there. Okay, this will go into the woodcutter's hut, so that's fine. I'm gonna do this also. There we go. Oh, but we cannot go to forest again. I guess we can go to taiga then. Okay, so in Taiga we got a whole bunch of wood. Okay, cool. We're gonna send another dog there to get some science. And then everything else will go into the trees here. And then we're gonna clear this and we can do it next round again. Wonderful. Okay, we're out of dogs for now. Uh, maybe we don't need to breed. We'll see. Um... Win by conquering the neighboring tribe. One conquer neighbor guess the correct dice value for each position to win. Hints will be provided at the end of each turn based on what is placed. Every three attempts will generate an assassination event. Conquest requires logic and some luck. <laughs> that sounds very fun, by the way. I will do it eventually, but we're gonna go for fate here. Um, I'm gonna go for fate. Now let's see the dice. Ooh, I have one more. We could spawn another location. I mean, these locations are really good. If you spawn another location, though... I mean, we don't have to clear it right away. I mean, three will go away. Right? So, yeah. This one will spawn something good now, though. Marshlands, Waterhole, and Ancient Altar. Okay. <laughs> I mean, if you get that many sixes, I should always do that. That's like a stupid style, but... I don't know. How are we gonna do this? We're probably gonna collect this with dogs. Let's be realistic. Uh, let's reroll a one. I got a four. Okay. Uh, with four. I don't get this. <laughs> I can place the tiles in here. <laughs> Why would I be able to place them in there? That's so weird. Okay, I'm gonna send a one to become another lumberjack. I'm gonna... We should probably build a temple, right? Start working on it. There we go. Oof, we just have about enough stone. Okay, this... Crazy. Yeah, I was not thinking about that. We're gonna need a lot of stone, so I'm happy we had it. Okay. Let's build that temple. And let's start using it. Uh, so let's see. Temple... Any pray so we can pray with once. Okay, let's keep a one to pray. Preach. Maybe we should not use this to train. We'll see. But let's build it first, right? So we need like a two and a three and a four and a five. 
Oh yeah, but we cannot like do anything here anyway because it's not here yet. Okay, what do we do with the rest? Um, so this is going away, this is going away, this will not go away yet. Okay, I have plenty of food, so I'll breed some dogs and then what do we do with the one? I can make Master Explorer or an, or an Opportunist. Yeah, let's go for Opportunist here. Uh, let's do, do something like that. Then we got a 5. What do we do with the 5? Uh, we can train an Explorer. Might not be too bad. Oh! Make a map. Hmm. Um... Right, well, we can do that with the altar at any point. Well, for two we can, for six we can't. Uh, okay. Let's train this one to be an explorer. Okay. I didn't breed the dog. Oops. Should have bred the dog, I forgot about it. Did I? Maybe I did. No, we only have three. Okay. So yeah, we have the temple now, so we'll be able to do our ambition. Looking forward to it. Okay, we got the witch and the inside is a pretty bad, but it's okay. It's a greater chance to get something good, so that's good. So yeah, that's gonna be it for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did like it, that would be very good. Also, if you're enjoying the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Of course, if you're not subscribed yet. In the meantime, I wish you all to have a wonderful day. Do something nice and be kind to each other so we can build a better world for ourselves and i will see you tomorrow for another episode of uh, dice tribes ambitions this time i remember the game's name <laughs> uh, it's a pretty cute game i'm enjoying it a lot uh, i was very happy to run into it how did i run into it oh yeah joek recommended it to me thank you very much joek zero for recommending this game one of my viewers of other stuff so yeah uh suggest the games to me if they are good i'm gonna check them out and play them as much time as I have, can't promise anything, but sometimes good stuff can come out of it. So yeah, uh, thank you for watching. See you in the next episode. The Neomer signing out. Bye-bye.